Many ADHD clinics require urine tox screens for everyone taking stimulant medications. Now, we do know that people with ADHD do have high elevated risks of substance abuse disorders, and they have low adherence to taking medications as prescribed, and people on stimulants in particular with ADHD have higher rates of both of those. Now, this suggests it would be a good idea to find ways to increase adherence to taking prescriptions as they are written. Preliminary evidence suggests the notion that better adherence to medication does convert to better outcomes. However, it's really important to know that the majority of individuals with ADHD do not abuse stimulant medications or do not become addicted to stimulant medications. Now, those are both serious side effects that we should keep working to reduce their likelihood. Now, research indicates that good communication and a strong doctor-patient relationship are the best tools against poor adherence to prescriptions and for combating substance abuse disorders. But relying on urine drug screens is highly problematic. One, often inaccurate. Two, stigmatizing. Three, coercive. And four, it's an invasion of privacy. I have not found a single published study that indicates that either routine or random urine drug screens for those taking stimulant medications results in either fewer problems or an improved mental or physical outcomes. So for those with ADHD, urine tox screens are best reserved for the emergency room when a patient is either unresponsive or so agitated they can't tell the doctors what might be in their system.